Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Cimarilla J. Yeah. And we're back with another popcorn story time. We lit. Uh, okay, so with this popcorn story time, um, the last one I did was about me getting kidnapped. And this one, since the last video that I posted up, I had a 50-50 vote. Second one, it's about to be me trying, attempting, and failing to run away from home over some candy. Yep, you guys, candy. Plain old simple candy, chocolate bars, Snickers, Skittles, whatever you can name it. Stupid, I know. But at the end, of, let me move this camera up. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey y'all, I'm back. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, over some candy. Stupid. But we about to test this popcorn out. You know, I love my popcorn. Everybody that knows me knows I love, love popcorn. If you love me, send me popcorn. I will love you forever and ever and ever and give you kids. So, this all started, well, before I even go back to me being in third grade, so let me go to my mother. I'm an only child. If a lot of y'all don't know, I am an only child birthed by my mother and my father, of course. Who else? And... You know, me and my mom being a girl, I lived with her. I lived with a house full of women. It was me, my mom, and my grandma. House full of women. So, you know, anybody that understands that lives with a house full of women, women or guys, it's chaos. So, me and my mom, we always, and when I say always, we always butt heads. Like, we joke a lot. Like, my mom is really cool. Like, she's a really sweet lady. But we always butt heads. She's, she wasn't strict she was just always on me about stuff like my mom is a correctional officer she's up up there up there she's a super supervisor up there up there a lieutenant no she's a captain now but so if anybody ever been to jail or has a parent that is a ceo or any way in any shape or any form y'all understand exactly how i mean when i say they will get on you like sometimes i sometimes i feel like i'm in jail but <laughs> it's like no like honestly i really do think if i was to go to jail today or tomorrow i would be fine i would really be fine because if i could survive with my mom for 22 going on 23 years i would be okay in jail i just know like okay like i need to sit down just listen just listen to what i say i'm gonna I'm be fine but thank god i'm not a bad person and i don't plan on going to jail anytime soon ever so you know, but this all started, I was in the, I was in the third grade. Um, we were in third grade, you know, we had this little poetry contest or something going on. It was like, if you came up to her and read her poem, it could be written out. It would be something that you made yourself. It could be like something that you memorized, anything. It's just, just, just show her the doggone poem. The prize was you get a big ass piece of candy. Um, me being little, a big ass piece of candy is just basically it was a regular it was a regular candy bar, y'all. Like something that is a dollar at the store, really a dollar at the store. And I really wanted that candy, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go print me out a poem. I'm gonna read it out. Boom. So me being excited during the time, me being so happy, I go and tell my mom. Y'all, why well, I did that? I. If I could go back in time and just tell my younger self to mind your business, mind the business that pays you, just it don't say nothing, just get your candy and go, I really would. Because, y'all, this piece of candy caused me so much hell. Y'all don't understand. So, I go to my mom. I get home. I was so excited. I'm like, okay, I'm about to get this candy. This is just a third, you know, woo, a snicker bar. So, I was like, um... Yeah, mom was like, we got this party conscious going on at school. The guidance counselor said we come and read the poetry to her. It could be anything that is in third. So mom was like, oh, okay, bet. I got a poem for you. You're going to do this in third. You're going to um, memorize it. You're going to write it down. Matter of fact, you're going to get ready to study now. Like, all oh, da, 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 da. So I'm just sitting here like, hold on. No. Like, no. Like, at this point, this fun 
project, something that was going to be quick, simple, and easy. It didn't turn into a homework assignment. I'm just like, I'm not memorizing. Why, like, didn't I just tell you in the instructions I don't have to memorize the poem? Like, why do I got to memorize the poem? You doing too much. Why I got to do this and third? The lady started yelling at me, y'all. It gets to the point now, I don't even want the damn candy no more. So, she's just like, just no, you know what? Uh-uh. As soon as you get home, you're going to go to your room. You're going to write this poem down. You're going to memorize this and third. And after that, you're going to leave. You're going to come back and read it to me. You're going to have all this memory. So, I'm just like... Why? Like, just why, why Why? do I have to do that? Why Why do I have to memorize the poem? Y'all, it took me a few years later when I got way, way older why she did this. But it's just like, during the time when I'm young in the third grade, I'm just like, why? I'm thinking my mom is crazy. I'm like, this lady's really getting on me to memorize this dog on poem for nothing like just for a candy bar i'm just like this like y'all i'm in my room i'm writing the thing over and over and over i honestly don't even really remember what the poem was because i was just like why am i really memorizing this poem and all i got to do is just say it to her like why do i have to do this so i go into my room i'm trying to like my mom's room going to her trying to come as mature as i can like you know hey um, I don't, I don't think you heard the instru instructions correctly. Like, you know, I don't have to memorize this poem. She starts yelling, Janelle, you're going to be going there and memorize the poem. When you come back, you're going to spaz it. So I'm just like, yo, this lady is crazy. So I'm just like, I'm sick of this at this point in time now. I'm just like messed up like man i already got other homework i got to do and now it's another piece of homework that i don't have to do just to get a candy bar and i'm just sitting here like wow and like now that i'm older and i really see how much these candy bars is i will even be more stressed out the fact that i know like okay i could have went to my coin purse and got the same candy bar not even that this literally the same candy bar and i'm getting stressed out for this like i'm just like Wow, you just want to be a, a extra student. You just want to be trying to audition for some stuff and show off the people that you got a snicker bar. And now, look at you. You locked in your room memorizing this poem that you don't even want to memorize. So, I'm just sitting here like, okay. I start contemplating. Hmm. I'm going to just run away from home. <laughs> I know. Y'all are really thinking like, really like... You know, like really, it it wasn't it wasn't even that bad. But me being in third grade, that was just the best option. I couldn't take being in that house. I was like, you know, this lady stressing me out. And I think like sometimes before then, my mom was really getting on me about like some random stuff. I really don't even understand what she was really yelling at me about. But I knew during that time I was really stressed out about something. So I was just like, man, this lady is really really off the chain. I gotta get out of here. So. That's when I started planning my moves. I'm like, okay. I ain't had no type of bags pet, y'all. Like, I don't know where I thought I was going. All I knew was I was going about that house. So, I started thinking. I'm like, okay. What is the best way I can get out of here? Like, okay. So, dur mind you. During the time, my mom looks good now. But she's lost a lot of weight. She's slimmed down. <laughs> Got a nice hourglass figure. Y'all see my shape. That's where I get my shape from. But way, 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 way back when, when I was younger, she was a heavy set type of lady. Now, this is really messed up that I thought about this. But let me continue the story. <laughs> so my mom, I'm thinking like, okay, my mom was a heavy set lady during that time. So I'm like, okay, bet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the car. I'm going to get her keys. I'm going to say I left my book in the car i gotta go in the car and get my book usually what my mom does she gives me her keys to go unlock the door so when i unlock the door i'm gonna throw the keys in front of my old house it was like a bunch of like bushes and all type of stuff i'm gonna throw the keys in the bush so she's gonna run to go get the keys out of the bush and while she's doing that i'm gonna just haul off so, I had all this planned out. Like, I'm thinking, I'm just like, okay, I got to run. Like, I was a chunky kid back then, too. So, I'm sitting here like, man, if I'm going to run, I got to really run. So, it is. I work up the courage. So, I go up front. <laughs> and so, I tell my mom and say, hey, um, I left my book in the uh, in the back seat. She said, okay. So, like, I started walking to go to this, get the keys and stuff. She walks up behind me. 
I think I had the computer desk. She gets them from the computer desk and unlocks the door. So I'm just like, damn. So <laughs> then after that, it was like, okay, damn, like plot ruin. So she's looking at me. She's like, go get the book. So I'm just like, oh, okay, all right. So I'm just like slowly like just backing up. Like literally just backing up. My mom's just looking at me like, get the book. Mind you, y'all, ain't no book in the back seat. So, like, at this point, it's like, I'm just standing by the car, just like. She starts going, hell, Janelle, get over here and get a book. Get a book. So, she's yelling, yelling and cussing. So, I'm just like, no, no. I'm, just, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. Like, I just kept saying, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. So, then, she's like, get your hands out in there. So, I'm just like, no. So, here it is. I take my chance. Choom. I go off running. So, I'm hauling to just. So like all like all I'm just hearing is my mom in the background. Get your ride. Da, 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 da. So like I'm just like Lord Jesus. So here's the dumb part of me. I'm just so full up of emotion because this is the first time I ever tried doing like running away from home and all type of stuff. So I'm just like okay, I need help. My house is here, right here. It was a middle trailer right here. Literally, it was like a road break. In between the houses. My y'all, I told y'all I was a chunky kid. So, in the middle of it, um, in the middle of my house, in the house in front of me is a trailer. I only got to the house in front of in front of the trailer. So here it is. I'm or I stopped at the house in front of the on um, road. I could, I'm scared to cross like the road all the way over there because it's like you know I was a good kid, so I didn't want to cross the road or like have chances of getting hit by cars. It was like. Whole bunch of cars used to run that way. So, I'm just like, no, I'm not about to do this. So, I ran to my neighbor's, my front neighbor's arm house, knocking on the door like, please, like, help, please help, please help. She's got this little bit. So, like, I, like, I don't know if somebody actually heard me. Like, thank God I wasn't in trouble because they had never came answer the door. So, here it is. I see my mom's truck. Yeah, my mom's truck pulling up to the side house. So, she started yelling. So, was she yelling? No, she didn't even yell this time. She was like, Janelle. She was like, come on. So I'm yelling at her, tears all the way down my I'm like, no, I'm not getting in the car with you. I'm sick of this. You're making me da, da, da. So like my mom just seemed like, okay. Like, okay. So she was like, Janelle, get in the car and we're gonna talk about this. Y'all, I used to watch Full House all the time when I was little. So like the way I thought I thought a family and stuff was which it is supposed to be like you just talk things out you work it out y'all talk about y'all problems y'all figure out things out i forgot i wasn't full house i was more so good times you know like we didn't we weren't raised on talking things out we were raised on beatings so it was just like no i i forgot that i'm thinking i'm a member of the full house right now so i'm still like no we're gonna talk about this and you're gonna call the police so he could be the this and third so my mom was like okay i'll call but i was like you promise you'll call the police my mom said yes you know i will call the police you know so i'm just like okay okay so i get into the car y'all I get back home. My mama told my behind up, y'all. Like I was feeling like coon to the kente, y'all. Like, my goddad during the time he was doing he was a truck driver. So he used to see all types of like the girls that were kidnapped and all this stuff. He came to my house. He started talking to me about that. He was like, Do you know what would have happened? You could have got sold and everything. You could've ended up in foster care. That's what the day I learned that if like kids, if you ever ran away from home or something, you could go to jail. I did not know that. So I learned a whole lot of stuff that day. I was like, wow, I was about to really, this story time would have been about me going to jail over some candy. And just no, like I would not survive in there. So my whole family just, it, like every other time, like a family guest come over, they always stop in my room and talk about it. I'm just like, bro, like I'm still here. To answer your question, did I ever do the poem? Did I ever get the candy? No, cause at this point I done got a behind cutting. I'm on punishment. By the time I even got back to school, the thing was freaking over. So it was like all of this was over really nothing. I got my behind whooped. 
for some 85 cent candy. 